Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. I'm here to see Rebel. Um, she's with somebody right now, but I'm sure she could accommodate you if you just want to have a seat. It's really important. My girlfriend just woke up with Derek, the... I don't care. Pop a squat, and she'll be with you when she can. How much longer will she be? She's been in there about an hour. Just, you know, wait. Who on God's green earth could be in there for that long? Worthless, you know? Like, she thinks I'm overweight? Fine, let him think that. But actions have power, and let me tell you, going on two walks a day instead of one isn't sneaky. It isn't slick, it's obvious. I just feel like, as an individual, in America, I should have some rights too. Changing the brand of my dog food? That was bold. I literally miss Blue Buffalo. That stuff was bomb. I wake up from my nap sometimes and it's on my mind, especially the chicken flavored one. That stuff was so good. Even the other day, we were on a walk at the park by the lake, and she started calling me a good girl for keeping my pace with her while we walked. I get it. Just because I'm three and a half pounds heavier doesn't mean that I suddenly can't walk. We were down by the water when I just got so PO'd at her constant backhanded praise that I just ran away from her. Like I didn't even care. so carried away that I might have accidentally knocked into some random girl at the lake. I see. So what happened next? Yeah, I really wasn't in the mood to actually run away because I hate cardio. So I just went back to the car and waited. I just don't think I'm given the love and respect that I deserve. Hey, you mind listening to me rap for a second? I just went perfect day. My girlfriend, for her anniversary. And she... <laughs> so, I just think it's funny how they call dogs man's best friend. But then Johnny from lacrosse camp comes over once, and suddenly, I'm old news. Have you tried talking to Steven about your concerns? Well, last month I talked to him about suddenly giving me the cold shoulder and he agreed to let me go out with him and his friends to the movies. I was trying really hard to be one of the guys, but halfway through my bag of popcorn, I threw up. Yeah, I tried making it discreet by upchucking in someone else's bag, but the smell permeated through and it got around the theater pretty quickly. They actually had to evacuate in the middle of the movie. After that, he never hangs out with me anymore, and I'm just way cooler than Johnny too. Just because I haven't made it on what's the word mass doesn't mean I'm not with it.
Rebel, I need your advice. My girlfriend just broke up with me and I- Derek, I have a client waiting right now, so you're gonna have to wait. How many clients can a dog possibly have? Spike, you're up next. I've made a big mistake. Uh, can you explain that a little more? Sure. What was the mistake, Spike? Well, you know how I'm an indoor dog? Yes, Spike, I know. Well, I'm just tired of having no freedom, no liberty. It's borderline censorship. That's not what censorship is, Spike. Anyway, I decided last night I would experience the great outdoors. So when Mrs. Baker left for poker night, I made my move. Well, Mrs. Baker left the door unlocked, so I figured it must be a sign. The only question was, where do I go? You see, a normal dog will go to a pet store to get unlimited dog food. I don't think that's how pet stores work. But I'm not a normal dog, so I was thinking, what's the one thing humans have that all dogs want? Opposable thumbs? No, people food. So I went to the nicest place in town. But TT's was closed, so I went to the second nicest place in town, All Abadis. It was like a party in my taste buds. So there was about 20 more minutes of me sneaking around and eating food before I think I had a few two margaritas. So what happened? Everything was fine. What do you mean? How did you get home? Well, after the hostess found me, she called Mrs. Baker from the phone number on my collar. Well, Spike, I would strongly advise not breaking the rules again. Just look at what happened this time. Sometimes you need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. Hey, what happens in all bodies stays in all bodies. Derek! Derek, I must admit, I don't usually have human clients. Well, I don't normally have a dog therapist. Touché. So what brings you in? Well, you see, yesterday was my girlfriend and I's 42-day anniversary, and I had the perfect day planned. I'm sorry, your what anniversary? Our 42-day anniversary. It's to celebrate us going out for a total of 42 days. Duh. Anyways, I had this huge date planned, right? And everything went wrong. So we were walking along the lake at our favorite park, talking about that 70s show, and playfully pushing each other around. And literally out of nowhere, some dog comes up and knocks me into her. I tried explaining that it was a small white dog that pushed me into her, but she just wouldn't believe me. She thought I shoved her into the lake. That was an awkward car ride. I took her to the movies as a way to make it up to her. Everything was going well until Vanessa ran out of raisinettes and got up to get some more. She told me to watch the popcorn and to not mess with it at all. <laughs> she knows like a good prank. But apparently when she got up, something uh, got into her popcorn. So Vanessa came back, and I handed her her popcorn. She looked at it, stood up, and just like that, walked out of the theater. So I decided to take her to our favorite restaurant to make her forget about the lake and popcorn vomit. Unfortunately, Titi's was closed. So I took her to our second favorite restaurant, Olivati.
Things were going well, I think. She had forgotten about the previous incidents from the day. I recommended the lemonade to Vanessa. And when we ordered, I told the waiter to include the secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is love. Things were going great. Until the final bomb hit. There was urine in her lemonade. Secret ingredient? Really? What did you put in this? Oh my god. This is the final straw, Derek. We're done. And now she won't even talk to me. What do I do? Wow, Derek. That's a crazy story.